What's up fishing folks? Do you like to throw jerk baits, small crank baits, but a lot of times you just don't know exactly what line size to choose for where you're gonna be fishing? Check out this video and see if it helps you out a little bit. So just like a lot of you guys, one of my favorite ways to catch them this time of year, crank bait and a jerk bait. For me, it's pretty simple line when it comes to you know line size. I throw 10 pound on my crankbait, throw eight pound on my jerkbait. Probably real similar to a lot of you guys. Y'all may throw 12 on crank and and uh, 10 on jerkbait. That doesn't matter. The point of this video is, a lot of the times you find yourself on a lake or an area of the country or even an area of your home lake that suddenly you're needing to throw these types of baits around heavier cover. Now anywhere you go. Seems like uh, YouTube, you read a, an article, or whatever. A lot of times when it talks about fishing heavier cover, the heavier the cover, the higher your line size. 99% of the time, I can agree with that. Um, and the idea is, with a heavier line, once you hook a fish, you can winch them out of there. Get them away from that cover so you don't risk a break off, don't risk them getting tangled up and all of that. I, I, okay, I agree with that. But with these style of baits, with a jerk bait and the smaller crank baits and things, I don't up my line size around heavier cover, and here's why, okay? I like to keep a consistent um, line no matter where I go, because with that I'm getting consistent uh, range, consistent depth, and consistent action, because we all know a change in line can change the, the action of a jerkbait. Huge. I mean, it can be huge. Um, and so I would rather my lures be consistent. Now I'll be able to say, well... What if you get a big old four or five pounder wadded up in a piece of grass? Or what if you get, you know, a big one wadded up around a bush? Oh, well, I don't want that, obviously. But if, here's a little challenge for you. So go take a piece of eight pound line, wrap it around your hands and pull it until it breaks. I think you'll be really surprised at just how strong eight pound line is. And so what I'm getting at with that is if you're pulling, if you feel like you're gonna be pulling on a fish hard enough, um, trying to get it out of cover, if you're gonna be pulling on that fish or feel like you're gonna be pulling on a fish so hard that you would normally break eight or 10 pound line, in my opinion, probably pulling a little too hard anyways. You're, because at that point, you're probably risking pulling the hooks loose, pulling them out of the fish, because we all know a lot of times with a jerk bait or a crank bait, you get them on the outside of the face. So I know a lot of y'all are probably gonna think I'm completely out of my mind, completely wrong. Go ahead, tell me down below just how wrong I am. Let me know what you do and why and your thinking behind it. Um, always appreciate a thumbs up. Please subscribe so you can catch the next video. Appreciate y'all's time watching this. See y'all later.